Hi, we are Entre Trámites. Today, we're going to see how can we request a digital certificate with an electronic DNI without having to go to an office to authenticate our digital identity. Remember that if you do not have an electronic ID, you can find several videos on how to get it in our channel. I'll leave them all linked on the bottom of this video. So, to access this procedure, we can use our app Entre Trámites. You can download it uh, from Google Play. Once the application has been downloaded into our mobile phone, we access to it. And in the part that says Identification Type, we must indicate that we are going to do it using an electronic ID. Once you have identified yourself, we go down until the option that says National Currency and Stamp Factory or FNMT, that it's the same. While we select the option that says a request a digital certificate for a natural person with an electronic DNI, we enter and if you do not have any ID registered in the application, you can do it using this icon over here. As the DNA is registered in the application, we select it. Remember that you must have the NFC option turned on on your mobile phone. And when you are reading your DNI, it is very important that you do not move the DNI so that the ID doesn't lose connection. So once this has read your DNI, you must enter the password. Also remember that to activate this password, you must do so in one of the machines at the police station if you have not done so previously. Here it's a notice that we accept the conditions of the issuance of the natural person certificate and we accept this communication. Then you click on accept and we must enter the password that will be assigned to our digital certificate. This can be chosen by you, by you. you can choose whatever you want. It's very important that you don't lose this password because it will be requested when downloading the certificate and to be able to use it on different devices. Once the password has been entered, they give you this option that tells the application to save the password and then they ask you to accept. These are the data that appear in your digital certificate. You must go down and fill tabs that appears over there with the corresponding data. Then select this option that says to include the email in the digital certificate and accept. Here, they tell us that if we want to perform the digital signature with a signature certificate, we can click on accept. And here, they tell us that the request has been processed correctly and that we will shortly receive the request code by email. Remember that this code together with the first surname and the DNA will be required to download the certificate in any digital device that you use. Once we receive the email with the code, we again enter our application and in this case we go down once again to the FNMT option, we click on the section that says download certificate. Here we click on accept and here we see the option of the certificate that we want to download. Here you must enter the request code that was sent to your email. The code is nine numerical digits then already tells us that the certificate has been saved in the application and that you can find it in the download option. We must click on accept and then go to our menu option and in the downloads option you will find the certificate that has already been downloaded to install it on our mobile phone we simply click on this button and it automatically gives us the option to install certificate this is where we must enter the password select the vpn applications option and then we just click on accept here, it might appear a notification that the certificate has been installed correctly in our device and it appears in a gray box like this. So, to check it, we go to Menu, Procedure, Fiscal Act, and here the certificate that we just downloaded will appear. We select, click on Allow, and here the desired procedure appears, which indicates that the certificate has been installed on our mobile phone correctly. Likewise, in the download option, with this option, we can share our certificate file, we can delete it as well. 
you can check all the options that you have for sharing your certificate. And that's it. I hope this video it helped for you. For more information, do not forget to consult our website and social networks. You can find the link above in the description part. And if you want to know more about the daily procedures, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more information, remember to check our website and follow us on our social media platforms. You'll find the link in the description box below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve with expert guidance on streamlining your paperwork, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to our channel.